daily case counts, daily death counts. Looking at those numbers can be very frightening. Objective is to control the epidemic. One of the big questions, of course, everyone has is how long are we in this? Hello, this is Vivek Goel. I'm Vice President, Research and Innovation and Strategic Initiatives at the University of Toronto and a professor at the Dalalana School of Public Health. This U of T podcast will be giving you ongoing updates on what's next for the pandemic from my perspective. Today, how are we doing? Every day, we see more numbers on the news. Daily case counts, daily death counts. Looking at those numbers can be very frightening, but it's also not very helpful. In order to see how we're doing, we have to look at trends over time. We need to make sure the numbers that we're looking at are not biased. For example, case counts depend on the level of testing that's being done in a jurisdiction and also the kind of testing and the people that are being tested over time, which will vary during the course of the outbreak. Deaths are a more reliable indicator of how we're doing. But there is one caveat. Deaths are telling us what has happened three or four weeks earlier. It takes a few weeks for the incubation period and as well time for people to develop severe symptoms, be hospitalized, and pass away. Across the world, we are seeing evidence of flattening of the death curve in countries such as Spain and Italy, which have had the most severe number of cases. In Canada, our rate of growth of deaths is not as high as it was. Some provinces such as British Columbia and Alberta are seeing clear evidence of flattening, while in Ontario and Quebec, cases and deaths continue to increase, but not as great as would have been predicted by models even a week ago. Most heartening to see is that the number of most severe cases in intensive care and on ventilators has remained relatively flat and has not overwhelmed the system as we might have feared a week ago. While these results are great to see and give us a glimmer of hope, we are certainly not out of the woods yet. There is much work left to be done and we will likely need to maintain some form of control measures for many weeks to come. Now is not the time to drop our guard. This is Vivek Goel. In my next podcast, Can I Go Out for a Run? 